Today's reader question begins. My boyfriend of eight months has an anxious attachment style. This man has many positive qualities and we've had open conversations about this. He's kind, thoughtful, generous, and giving. I'm trying to be understanding about this issue and I'm curious, is this a deal breaker or is it something to work through through communication? My name is Evan Mark Katz, Dating Coach for Smart, Strong, Successful Women, your personal trainer for love. Welcome to the Love You podcast. Keep listening to learn how to deal with a man with an anxious attachment style. When we're done, I'll let you know how you could apply to Love You to create a passionate relationship that makes you feel safe, heard, and understood. So as a dating coach, I try not to engage in too much psychological terminology. I'm not a psychologist, don't pretend to be a psychologist, but it's a seminal book. It's called Attached. It's by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller. Uh, my clients maybe eight years ago recommended that I read it. I liked it so much. I thought it was so powerful that I asked the authors for permission to teach it in Love You. And so it's something that I've spent a decent amount of time working with. If you're not familiar, the thumbnail sketch of attachment styles is that um, this is childhood attachment theory overlaid onto adult relationships. Basically, there's 50% of people at any given point in time who are considered secure. Secure meaning they know how to form intimate relationships and intimate attachments. That's that healthy dynamic. It's something that they know how to do and strive towards, and that's a natural state of being. Um, that helps if you grow up in a family where there was that kind of relationship dynamic between your parents and the kids. However, unfortunately, a lot of people did not grow up with that dynamic. And so they become either 25% anxious, 25% avoidant. I'm again playing a little fast and loose with it, but that's the idea. Anxious is someone who, who is so nervous that someone is going to leave, right? Abandon them, criticize them. They're constantly seeking reassurance all right. He didn't text me for two hours. I think this relationship is over. No, he was just working. It's not a big deal. That's an anxious attachment style. All right. And avoidant is usually the person who ends up dating the anxious person and makes the person feel anxious because that person claims to want intimacy, but consistently undermines it. I love you. And then I break up with you. I can't imagine my life without you. This isn't working. We have this amazing date then I'll call you for three days, all right? There's criticism, all right? There's pulling away. It's the yo-yo effect, all right? So that's the kind of thing that happens with men with anxious attachment styles that you can't feel safe around them. If you're a secure person, you have a very low tolerance for that. If you're an anxious person, that's literally all you see over and over. You get used to men who act like that, and so you're constantly on edge. Relationships put you on edge. And that sort of defeats, in my opinion, the purpose of having a relationship where you should relax and feel safe. So here's the good thing about attachment styles. They can change depending upon who you're dating. If I'm secure, but I'm dating someone who's avoidant, I'm going to feel anxious. I could, I could have the most confidence in the world, but if someone's not returning my calls, I'm going to feel anxious too. That's a very human thing. So we generally want to avoid avoidance if you're anxious or if you're anybody else. But now we're getting into the, the, the point where we talk about, well, this is, we're talking about how women have anxious attachment style. What about when men have it? Because this is not a gender specific thing. I happen to work with women, but sometimes you meet a really nice guy who through his history, through a mother who was critical of him, a father who abandoned him, a girlfriend who treated him like crap. Right? These things happen to, to, to good people, has his own anxious attachment style. And, when that shows up, that guy needs a lot of extra attention, he needs a lot of reassurance. He needs to know that you're going to love him and that you're going to be there for him. Right. That is really the greatest gift you can give. If I were, again, this is a gender neutral situation. If I'm talking to a man who's dating a woman with anxious attachment style, and a lot of my listeners and followers have anxious attachment style, right, constantly on edge waiting for the other shoe to drop with guys. The best thing a guy could do is to make you feel safe, heard, and understood. How does a guy do that? He calls you. He praises you. He tells you he's thinking of you. He makes an effort to see you. He lets you know how he's feeling. Talks about a future. Integrates you into his life. Doesn't keep you separate. It's far more positive 
right, than negative in that relationship. And the more positive there is, the more you can believe the relationship is real instead of bracing for the time that he does one thing and the whole thing implodes, which is very common, unfortunately. So this is the kind of thing that you need to be able to do with a guy. It's not exactly the same. Men and women are not exactly the same, but can you give a guy a little more reassurance than you have been if he needs it? It doesn't cost you anything. Maybe it's just a text in the morning. Hey, cutie, just thinking of you. Something right before you go to bed at night, right? Just a little sweet nothing. Makes him smile before he goes to bed. Makes him feel reassured. Maybe it's telling him when you're out on a date how happy you are, how excited you are about him and the future. That's not going to scare off the anxious guy. It's going to, it might scare off the avoidant guy, but it's going to make the anxious guy feel a lot better. It's also going to bring out a better, more confident side in him. Maybe it's making plans right, for the next month, four or three months from now. We're going to a wedding. I'm inviting you to my family for Christmas. It lets him know that you're not going anywhere. Maybe it's just reminding him, validating his experience as an anxious person. Letting him know you're not like his ex-girlfriend. You're not like his mother. You're a completely unique individual and you're in it for the long haul, right? Presuming things remain the way they are right now. You're not going anywhere, right? At a certain point, your anxious guy should start to feel a little bit more secure. Right. Now, this doesn't guarantee anything. You're still allowed to break up with an anxious guy because anxiety and insecurity is rarely an attractive quality. But I think there's a lot of good people, men and women, who have been burned by love so much that, that they don't trust their judgment and everything sets them on edge. Now, if you're with a guy and nothing you do is enough, like if you've really gone to bat to demonstrate to him that you're different and that he's safe and that he could relax, and you feel like, God, I'm going to spend my whole life on this treadmill, constantly reminding him and reassuring him, propping him up because he doesn't believe he's good enough and he doesn't believe anybody's going to love him and he thinks you're going to cheat on him or abandon him. You are allowed to consider jumping ship and finding a more secure guy who also treats you well, but he doesn't drain your energy based on his insecurities. You don't have to stick with someone because they're anxious. You're not obliged to but you can bring out a more secure side in someone. So the key to all of this, as I teach and love you, is that you don't have to change your personality to find lasting love. It's about changing your choice in men. If you choose people who are more secure, your relationship's gonna be a lot easier. Secure men form intimate attachments, they act consistently, there's no guessing games, and you could relax into an easy relationship, the kind of which you've never had before. Just go to www.evanmarkkatz.com forward slash apply. I will help you find him. My name is Evan Mark Katz. Thanks for tuning into the Love You Podcast. For more episodes like this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button, ring the bell, and choose all to get notified when new content comes out. And if you want a man who makes you feel safe, heard, and understood, go to www.evanmarkkatz.com forward slash apply. Watch my free video about how to fix your broken man picker. When you're done, you could apply to Love You to join other smart women in a coaching community where you could finally get the love you deserve. Can't wait to see you there. Bye-bye.